Good afternoon. I am the Reverend Jawanza Colvin. Uh, I am a member of the Board of Tre Trustees here at the museum and a member of the African American Advisory Committee. As we kick off Black History Month around our country, and in honor of today's program, we must first take time to acknowledge those who have blazed the trail before us. As you took your seats today, you may have caught a glimpse of five outstanding gentlemen on the screen here and a quick look at their tremendous contributions to our community and the impact the museum has had on them. These gentlemen have carved a pathway for all of us to follow as we prepare ourselves and our next generation to become that generation's black male leaders in our community. I encourage you to see your program for more extensive biography for each of our honorees, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about each and every one of them. Lewis Stokes rose from the local housing projects to become a potent symbol of civil rights. He was the first African American in the state of Ohio to be elected to the House, representing the 21st District of Cleveland's East Side. He served 15 terms in total. His tenure in the House of Representatives included service on the House Appropriations Committee, where he was influential in bringing revenue to Cleveland to address needs in housing and urban development. In the 1970s, Stokes served as chairman of the House Select Committee on Assassinations, charged with investigating the murders of President John F. Kennedy and the civil rights leader, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. The late Arnold Pinckney was best known as a kingmaker. He played an integral role in the campaigns and elections of Carl Stokes, who became the mayor of Cleveland, the first black politician ever elected to run a major American city, and brother of Louis Stokes, Ohio's first black member of Congress. Mr. Pinckney caught national attention working at top levels of Hubert Humphreys and Reverend Jesse Jackson's presidential campaign and engineered the victory that sent Dick Celeste to the Ohio governor's office. Mr. Pinckney earned a reputation as a tireless, diligent campaigner who stood shoulder to shoulder with a generation of leaders who fought to open a path forward for African Americans to occupy top elected office. Cleveland has reached countless milestones in its civic and political evolution because of him. We are so honored to Rich Forbes is noted as being one of the most powerful presidents of the Cleveland City Council and as a former president of the Cleveland NAACP. He has dedicated his entire political career to the advancement of all citizens of the city. He was instrumental in managing the complicated issues besetting the city of Cleveland including the city's default on debt obligations to local banks, the regionalization of Cleveland's transit authority, and help create a new service economy for downtown Cleveland while insisting on advancement of civil rights for Cleveland's minority population. George L. Forbes was listed by the Cleveland Plain Dealer in 2007 as one of the 50 most influential people in Cleveland's history who made an indelible impression on the history of the city. He was listed with the likes of John D. Rockefeller, Frank Lausch, and Carl B. Stokes. His passion and commitment to our community has been recognized on many occasions, one of which was the NACP's highest award for meritous service. The Reverend Dr. Otis Moss Jr. is a pastor emeritus, theologian, speaker, author, an activist. He is well known for his involvement in the civil rights movement and his friendship with both Martin Luther King Sr. and the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., with whom he served as with Dr. King Sr. as co-pastor at the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta. He helped lead sit-ins and other activities to protest segregation and once served as regional director of Martin Luther King Jr.'s Southern Christian Leadership Conference. For over three decades, Reverend Moss, as pastor of the Olivet Institutional Baptist Church in Cleveland, serving as an advisor to President Jimmy Carter, and also has befriended such world figures as Bill Clinton, President Barack Obama, Oprah Winfrey, and Jesse Jackson. Reverend Moss is repeatedly named as one of the most influential preachers 
in America. Robert P. Madison is a world-renowned architect and entrepreneur born right here in Cleveland. In 1954, he opened the doors to his company, Robert P. Madison International, the first such office in Ohio opened by an African-American architect and only the ninth in the country. Major building projects for his firm span across the globe. Ones you may recognize here in Cleveland include the Cleveland Brown Stadium, the Cleveland Horseshoe Casino, the Cleveland Medical Mart and Convention Center, Euclid Corridor Health Line, Quicken Loans Arena, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum, the Great Lakes Science Center, RTA's Waterfront Line, the Cleveland Public Library, the Cleveland Hopkins International Airport Concourses C and D, and the Cleveland Museum of Art. On behalf of the museum, I have the great honor to present these gentlemen with a unique and rare token of our appreciation for all that they have done to leave a blueprint for success and for their outstanding leadership. Their influence has been felt in our families, our neighborhoods, our cities, and yea, even in our country. Their lifetime achievement is deserving of an honor that is matching in scope and stature. So I am thrilled to share with you that each distinguished fellow's name will be forever and always linked to our museum by listing their names in conjunction with a work of art selected from our permanent collection. These works, true masterpieces. <laughs> These works, true masterpieces, were carefully chosen for each gentleman who joined only a handful of others bestowed this honor in the museum's nearly 100 year history. They are displayed alongside each distinguished fellow's photo in your program book. I am blessed and humbled to call our honorees and Mrs. Pinckney to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a round of applause as we honor Mr. Lewis Stokes. Mr. George Forbes. The Reverend Dr. Otis Moss, Jr. Mr. Robert Madison. and Mrs. Betty Pinkney. 